in this video, I'm going to show you how to slow down the gun tight Y off, the new meta offense that everybody's using in Madden 22. And we're going to talk about how to do this out of a match defense. Now, this is a part of a series that I have been doing over the last couple of days. We're talking about how you can defend uh, basically any formation with cover four quarters or cover four palms. And we're going to be talking about how you can do that uh, out of this gun tight Y off. I have to tell you, this gun tight Y off, I honestly... Um, think that this is one of the better offenses in the game and so we're going to kind of learn together how we slow this down uh we're going to talk about the red zone scissors route we're going to talk about the deep crosser we're going to talk about the deep post on the back side there's a lot of things that people can do with this formation so if you do the channel be sure to hit the subscribe button um it's completely free to do that we upload new videos every single day and like i said we're kind of going through um kind of once you get past the meta you know you've got probably five to seven key offensive formations in the meta but what do we do with some of these kind of secondary formations that people will go to? How does our match concepts work against that? How do we defend that? We're going to talk about that in this video. But if you want to learn the rest of the match defense, I would encourage you to join my Patreon membership for just five or for just ten bucks a month. You're going to get access to every ebook that I've released so far in the Madden 22 season, and every ebook that I will release while your subscription is active. We release tips over there all the time as well, kind of high level stuff. So if you want to really get better. That's the best place to go. So head on down to the description and join the Patreon after the video if you want to check it out. But we're going to talk today about palms and how it plays against tight Y off or two by two with kind of a tight knit uh, look at it. Now, this is a little bit different um, in terms of it's not exactly compression, but it's kind of compression. What I mean by that is if I go to this formation over here, uh, gun tight slots you're going to notice that this is kind of true compression. And I want to show you something. So what I, I did a video and I talked about this tight slots uh, set. And I said, you know, one, what, what we're really getting is we're getting box check to the three wide side. And on the back side, we're getting a uh, kind of a two by two check, if you will. So um, I'm going to show this and, and, and we're going to talk through this. So what that basically means, if, if I were to put Miller... And I, the way I teach this is I start with this, this four vertical kind of bench style approach. And I just want you to watch the differences between the coverage. And you're going to see a major difference between the left side and the right side of the screen. We're going to show you the difference uh, here in instant replay. And then we're going to apply the same kind of knowledge uh, to this other formation in just a moment. So if I jump into replay here, what you're going to notice is um, in palms, you've got a three rec here, a quarter. A, a quarter flat, two quarter flats, and then you have quarter zones all across the back end of this. Okay, so what you're going to see here is the number one, when you get a box check, the outside corner that's in a quarter will take any corner route. So if there's a corner route, he's going to take it. So what you're going to see here is Miller's on the corner, and that corner takes it. And then as you can see here, this guy is getting vertical with the seam. Now on the back side, you would kind of assume that it might be the same because it's a symmetrical formation in the sense that it kind of looks the same on both sides. But what you're going to see is the outside cornerback is going to take the number one man-to-man, -man, and then the safety is going to take number two man-to-man, uh, -man, and this quarter-flat defender is going to kind of be in no man's land, not really guarding anything. Now, if we jump back over here to the gun tight Y off, you're going to notice that now the only difference is the running back is now on the tight end side. So my hypothesis is if we do the same test, we might just get a flip uh, of the entire concept. So uh, to illustrate this, what we're going to do is we're just going to pinch our defensive line, shift our D line, our linebackers to the, the backside just to create kind of a symmetrical defense. And then we're going to put a corner route to the two slots, two verticals, and a curl to the back and kind of see who guards who and why they guard who they guard. So we'll just take the snap here. And we'll go ahead and just kind of take a sack. And I want you to take a look at this concept. Now, what you're going to notice is basically what I just said is pretty accurate. We're going to essentially get a box check to the running back side. So whichever side the running back is on in compression, you're going to have a tendency to get a box check. What that means is this outside corner is not going to guard this guy in man to man if this guy runs a corner. So you see here, 81 goes vertical. And, and but, but then you see the corner. So once you see the corner, this guy is breaking on the corner. This guy's taking the vertical. Now on the back side, you're going to see a little bit of a different concept. On the back side, Miller's going to the corner. And if you take a look here, this is where you can get crossed up. And this is why this is so important to, to kind of see this. 
And then now you're going to see this backside guy is going to take number one vertical because there is a, it's basically a standard match concept check on that backside. Now, one of the most popular plays in Madden 22 is this PA cross. And the reason why is because this deep crosser will get over every zone drop in the game. But if you take a look here against the palms, it actually plays it okay. Um, it's not the best, but it does play it okay. You see that quarter zone kind of get man locked on it. So my favorite adjustments for this package is basically this. I like to man lock onto this number one because that's going to simplify everything for my defense. Everything defensively is now simplified because I know that if this if this receiver 10 goes to a corner, we've got a two-man concept on the backside guarding him. Then what I'm going to do is to the three wide side, I'm going to bluff blitz my nose tackle here, Barmore, or my DT. Uh, we're going to bluff blitz him because he's on the same side of the running back. He is going to open up into the box check. Then on the back side here, Winovich, we're going to put him in a quarterback spy. And then we're going to use her Bentley right here. Now what we know, at least from experience, is if we get a crossing route from 81, we pretty much have to take that in man coverage. If we get a crossing route from left to right, we can kind of feel free to pass that off if we have to. So what you're gonna see at the snap of this ball is now PA cross, one of the better plays in the game. We're just gonna open up. And what you see here is the coverage itself will basically take care of that concept. As you can see, we're able to take care of that play. Now the next popular play uh, from this formation is flood drive. And why flood drive is so popular is because it's basically the same thing. I mean, it's basically the same thing to the backside. So you might get a look that looks something like this. And we're going to try to get that that deep post over the top of the vertical uh, of the vertical because we can get that over the top of uh, 30 yard clouds, uh, 30 yard cloud flats. So again, exact same adjustments. We're going to bluff blitz the TT on the running back side. We're going to spy the backside DT. We're going to man lock on that outside guy. It kind of helps that safety on the left side not get lost in man coverage. And what you should see here is we're going to rise up. And as you can see, we play perfect defense across the board. We literally had nothing that literally had nothing that we needed to kind of take man to man. So let's jump in replay here. Notice this. Because we have such solid coverage, and, and, and think about this like this, we're getting that box check, right? So just like, again, imagine these three receivers, 81, 87, and 27, right there on the right side. Imagine that that was a gun bunch. Remember in gun bunch, if we get verticals, we've got to take that crosser most of the time. But what you're going to see here is where our match is actually going to swap off really nicely because why? Well, because we man locked on that backside. So that's that interior safety now has full flexibility to be able to swap off. And as you see, the defense plays pretty dang good, in my opinion. Now, another concept that you're going to get consistently from this formation is the switch wide receiver drag. Uh, the reason people are going to run this is because it's a pretty good little bomb concept. Um, it's something that you know people can use to try to get a one-play touchdown. So what you're going to see is they're going to wheel the running back, and they'll probably block their tight end, to be honest, uh, with you here. And we're going to run that same exact coverage, the same exact coverage that we've been running. We're going to run the same exact thing. Remember, we want to open up and help over here because this is where we're weak. Um, so what we're going to do, snap of the ball, we're going to open up. You're going to see that that corner route gets matched, that post gets matched, and we basically bag one of the best bomb concepts in the entire game. So let's take a look at that into the film here real quick. What you're going to notice is the wheel route to the back, that quarter flat is going to do a really good job. The one thing they might have here is this little quick drag. Um, it is open, but we have a three wreck in that area. We have a spy. Um, we could be down there with our user if we wanted to. Now this corner route right here, I will say, if they've got a really, really good quarterback, they might be able to fit that in right there, like just out on the cut. But you've got a guy driving on the ball you might get a pick on that as well. It's, it's one of those things, it's kind of a bang, bang play. But the major thing that I wanted to hit on right here is this right here. You're gonna see 81 is gonna go vertical and you see this nice swap off that we get from the matching concept and we're able to basically be in good position uh, to make a play happen against that deep post. Now, uh, one other thing that I wanna go over real quick is the wide receiver, uh, or not the wide receiver, but the running back scissors play. Uh, and the reason why is because this is one of the big, I think one of the major underrated concepts uh, is the red zone scissors out of this. And again, we're playing this out of palms. You could play it out of quarters as well. Um, they're gonna play fairly similarly in terms of how they're gonna work against two by two compression. 
Uh, but anyways, what we're going to see here, we're going to set exactly up the same exact defense. Now, what I want you to notice here is, again, this is what you're going to get. This red zone scissors, pretty much stock. Like, they could pretty much run it just like this or put a corner route and an in route, something like that right there on the backside. You still got that skinny post that you got to worry about. And so we open up here. I want you to take a look at the running back route. You're going to see this quarter zone doesn't quite defend that, unfortunately. And that's where, again, that's something you're going to have to watch with your user. So, you know, when you're running this concept, if you see that running back go on kind of a seam wheel, we don't have him in man coverage. Typically in a compression set, you might want to have the running back in man coverage. But for the way that we want to defend this one, we really don't have the pieces uh, to be able to do that. So if we get a uh, something like this, we need to get over here and help. Everything else is going to be bagged. As you can see, everything else is going to be isolated. We're going to get good matching concepts. We just need to make the play on the same wheel. So that's another little quick tip. You know, typically if you see that running back go on like a wheel or some kind of red zone scissors type of route, you might want to get over there and help him. Now, typically what the other thing that we didn't hit on is typically what's going to happen is they're going to block their tight end. I'll tell you, in this formation, you will get a lot of block tight end, which changes the numbers. It gives you a significant advantage in your coverage. So that could be something that could potentially help you. But overall, I think that this is a fairly safe concept, fairly safe defense to call uh, against this set. If you take a look at the cover six here just real quick, if you wanted to man lock onto the running back, for example, you want to try to kind of sneak a stop, what I would recommend is taking this linebacker here, man lock him on the running back, and then you can basically go about the same ad uh, adjustments that we had prior to. Um, and now what you'll see is if they go with that red zone scissors play, you still have this deep half up top. You just have got to watch this backside. If they run a shallow or a crosser, you have to take that in man to man. But that's a way that you could kind of bait them into throwing that red zone scissors or that seam wheel concept uh, within that cover six. So thanks for watching the video. This is just the tip of the iceberg. If you want to learn more about match defense and really just more about the game and really get good at this game, I would really encourage you uh, to join my Patreon membership. There's a link in the description below. Uh, you can sign up for that for just 10 bucks a month. And if you don't want to renew that every month, you can cancel that after the first month. No big deal. But as soon as you sign up, you get access to everything. You get access to all the eBooks, all literally everything. So I'd encourage you, if you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. Head on down there and click that link and go check out that Patreon uh, membership.